Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to show fourth graders how to get an outlier in math. So an outlier is a number that doesn't fit in with the rest of the data. So say your fourth graders are out collecting data, and you know they have a series of numbers. Maybe it's the weather um, in the winter time, and you know there's a day where it's 32 degrees, there's a day where it's 34, a day where it's you know 30 degrees, there's a day again where it's 31. 33, and then all of a sudden there's a day where it's like 60, you know, 5 degrees. It was just a warmer day. And then you have some more days that are, you know, around 29 or 34. Well, the fourth graders now have to identify which number here is the outlier. Obviously, 65 is the one that doesn't belong. Now, maybe for some reason, you know, there was just a hotter day, or maybe you're collecting data from a chemistry experiment, and, you know, there was one time where something just went wrong. This will show you that, you know, there, there's not always going to be the same, um, you know, outcomes when you're doing something in real life. When you're doing an experiment and it's all theoretical, you know, you can come up with the fact that the weather's probably going to be here, you know, between 35 and 29, you know, um, in the winter months. But in real life, there's always going to be an outlier, some number that doesn't belong, you know, that can come up because maybe you set up your chemistry experiment wrong or maybe because the weather is always changing and it's unpredictable and we don't know. So it's really great to have the fourth graders realize that there can sometimes be outliers in your data. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.